All right. So, hey YouTube. Okay, so basically what I'm here to do today is I am going to do a quick recap of my five week um journey with my hair from Hair of and then I will be doing my six week review. So, look out for that and um, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it and basically tell you guys kind of about my journey, what I went through with the hair and the things that I've learned and my overall opinion on the hair. Okay, so my initial review of the hair is that I absolutely loved it. When I, I mean, I could not wait to get this hair. I, c I mean, I couldn't wait to get the hair in the mail. Like the day that it arrived, I was like super duper 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 stoked that I just like went nuts and upon initial review the hair was so soft it was so sweet it didn't it didn't um i said sweet but i mean it was just so nice like it was really 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 nice um it didn't smell like anything at all either and it was um the texture of it was just awesome and i knew that it said wavy and i was like oh my gosh i hope that it keeps this wave pattern after i co-wash it so um i i did co-wash the hair and i actually loved love 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 the way that it had co-washed and I love this so much that I had um, initially decided that for the first two weeks of my first install, I had originally thought to install and leave installed for two weeks at a time, but realized that that wouldn't be the best choice for my hair. I needed to take it down and condition my own natural hair. So, um, but I did do a two week stint for the first two weeks. Um, I, in the first two weeks, I did wear it in its natural um, state, the natural wave of it, without any chemicals, any frizz control, or anything like that. Um, and I did have a leave out. Um, so basically what happened was I basically put all three bundles in my hair, which I absolutely loved and I, um, I learned and I didn't want to cut the hair because I loved it so much. So what I did was, um, came up with ways of trying to create volume and layers without having to cut the hair. So I did that and I achieved that through flexi rotting. Yes. When small flexi rods up top and bigger ones down at the bottom gave me, um, layers because the curls were tighter and smaller up top and then the longer ones down at the bottom. So that actually worked well for me without having to cut it. Um, and the flexi rods stick pretty well to this hair. I mean, like within two or three hours, I could get a flexi rod look with this hair. So I was very, very pleasantly surprised about that. Um, after my first week um, of trying to figure out how I was going to blend my leave out and all this other stuff, you know, this has been my first week part wig, I wasn't very experienced. So I decided I should just take my glasses off because they are so freaking glary. Okay, they have like the worst glare and I know I look like half dead. That's why I had glasses on today. But anyways, okay. So the, um... The first week I, so after my first week of trying to do the leave out thing, I was like, this is just too much for me. So basically I took it out and I, um, I just braided it up and I changed it into an invisible part. Um, I did a tutorial on that. I changed it into an invisible part for my second week. Um, going to my second week, but wearing it naturally without any chemicals, I wasn't quite, I didn't quite know that I was supposed to be conditioning it and co-washing it and all that good stuff. Um, so, and then first two weeks it got kind of dry, and so I spent my second week basically reconditioning the hair, retreating it, and getting it back to where it was in the beginning, which, um, didn't really, which really was pretty good. Um, I had a little bit of shedding, but I didn't have as much shedding. Um, with it being dry, I didn't have shedding, I actually had breakage, which means like off the ends of the hair, like half inch section or inch sections was just breaking off of the hair. It wasn't like whole strands of hair actually coming out. It's just like little ends. Um, so that's basically what happened with that. And I, I had an issue with trying to get all the product out of the hair when I washed it, but um, I just wasn't co-washing it in the right temperatures is what I learned because the, the temperature of the water really, really, really does matter. Trust and believe it does. Um, my third week was initially I was going to wear it curly, but I decided to wear it straight first so then I can straighten it, put the heat on it and flat iron it, and then in my fourth week see if it was going to bounce back as far as the curl pattern and everything like that was going to happen. So my third week I straightened it and I still had all three bundles in, which I did a tutorial, I did a little quick video on to show you guys how the hair looks straightened. And then um, by the end of my third week I had taken it down and I had reconstructed my entire wig. I um, took it down, took down the one with the full 12 ounces of hair and I had added an additional 2 ounces of 26 inch and I gave me a total of 14 and then I made two separate wigs, two separate U-part wigs. Um, and so check the video out for that where I did that. 
doing that allowed me to go back and you know have a little bit more versatility with style wise if I wanted it really really long if I wanted it just something shorter that I can do some nice updos and curls with and stuff like that so overall for the first two weeks I loved it um loved it loved it in this natural pattern for the fourth week for the third week flat iron it it didn't take very very long to flat iron that's one thing I didn't have to put a hard hard press on there um to get it to go straight and I actually liked it some days I actually liked it with the medium wave and uh, like a straight wave but not all the way away but it didn't take very much for me to straighten it out anyway so I, I was pleasantly surprised with that um, I didn't have to put any like heat serums or anything on there like that to flat iron it and make it straight it actually just came nice and straight so if you check out that video you'll see what I'm talking about um, but it still felt soft um, it still felt like it just felt like a thick a nice very very well pressed thick head of thick weaving thick weave basically and it was awesome um, I did when I reconstructed I co-washed it and I had did it I found a new remedy for co-washing and using on my hair hair products for the hair and that absolutely works and that is my routine my go-to routine forever no matter what kind of hair I use that is going to be my routine that I use but taking it down and actually washing all the bundles com was completely different than to me it seemed to be completely different than me washing it on my head um, as I had been doing prior and when I said I couldn't get all the chemical out of it because I mean the hair came out so clean, so thin and slowly it was just nice and it just felt very, very clean and it smelled freaking awesome. Um, after I did this whole reconstruction and reconditioning, um, the shed, the breakage completely died down. I did still have the shedding, but you know, the shedding wasn't nothing major. The most time I got shedding was when I co-washed it, so, um, that was that. Um, da -da 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 -da. And in my third week, I had gone back to a middle part, which which is what I said, um, you know, which is what I did with that. What are you doing, baby? Okay, so the fourth week, I wore a curly, and I freaking, freaking, freaking love this. Let me tell you, I loved it, loved it, loved it, because um, it was so low maintenance. Like, the hair is naturally wavy. So, all I did was put a little bit of my, hold on, baby. All I did was use a little bit of my... Garnier Fructis Wonder Waves. If you guys can see this, she wants to get down, but she can't get down. Um, my Wonder Waves, and then I used a little bit of my um, FX Gotta Be Curly just to um, maintain any, if anything, freeze. And I mean, that stuff works the host for like two days. Basically, in the morning, I wake up, spritz it with the spritz bottle, and um, Spritz it with the spritz bottle and then put a little bit of that in there and I mean it would hold that curl pattern all day And then if I wanted a fuller look one thing I do love about this hair is that even though I had reconstructed and only had had about seven ounces in the hair um I It still looked full It still looked full and the more that I combed it out the 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 fluffier it got so it, it was amazing that I could still get the full the full look that I love only with the two bundles instead of the full three so that was absolutely awesome to me um da -da 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 -da. and as far as my leave out in the front all I did I, since I was wearing it curly I just basically braided me back some little braids pendulum side part braids straight down the middle side part braid pin the back of my bows which allowed me to do a little bit of something extra with my bows so that was absolutely amazing to me knock it off for like two seconds please play play with your teacups can i have like two minutes thank you baby so um and then week five basically week five was like i decided i'm gonna play with this hair i'm gonna straighten it back out i had and then week four i had um had my 18 inch in so week five i decided to alter me back to the one with the 26 inch extension in there and I was like, I'm going to play with it. I want to do some layers in the front. So basically what I did, I had a middle part. I took the extra hair that I had left over from when I had reconstructed my wig. And I glued tracks right along the ends of my U part to help with blending that I had seen. I believe and it was Peak Mills video and a few other videos. But um, that blending technique is amazing. I also did a tutorial on that. And I mean, when I did it, it made it look so much more natural that... I just love it. Check out my video. I think it said I rocked my U part wig was the video for that because the way that it looked to me, um, it may not have picked it up on camera as well, but like in public and in person, it was freaking awesome. The way that the blending and everything went as far as with me cutting the layering and stuff like that. So it looks freaking amazing. So I gave kudos up on that. And um basically all I did was Remington while on the end and I had an awesome style. Um, da -da 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 -da. I had I've been alternating back and forth between side part and middle part, and I, I must say that I actually really, really do love 
love them both and I've never really worn a middle part before I tried it once before I had this hair I did a red look and I had a middle part and I liked it and you know that's why I definitely want to make a middle part you part with this but um as far as durability and, and week five I had gave it an eight because of all the things that I was able as, as well as it holds up between straightening co washing and all that stuff like that I had gave it an eight because um I, I just gave it an 8 because I feel like that's what it deserved, but I'm going to actually change that now that this is my final week and go ahead and give that a, a 9. I'm going to bump that up to a 9, 9.5 actually because I mean it's just amazing. It's holding up so well and I mean I put this hair through everything in that um, and, and I mean I can't complain with the way that it's holding up so I'm absolutely, absolutely amazed with that. Um, and then versatility, I had given it a 9. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 10 because, like I said, I've done many things from curl 9, flat iron to wanding, um, crimping. I've done a little bit of everything to this hair. And the ways, there's different ways that you can wear it and different styles that you can create. You know, baby, where's your Susie? Go get your Susie. Look, it's right there. Sosa, right there. Go get Susie. And the different things that I've done to the hair, I mean, it's held up amazing. So versatility, I'm going to go ahead and give that a, um, a ten and a half as well. Um, I don't really get tangles with this hair. That's a pro. So if you're looking to invest in some hair that you you don't have to worry about tangles, I don't get tangles. I'll get what you may call a snag, and that's only because I have this long 26 inch hair in. Now, before in a couple of my videos, I had said that I was um getting um shedding. I've come to realize that it is shedding from the 26 inch extension because um, when I have the other one in with the 18 and the 16 bundles from hair engineers, I don't really get shedding from that. I maybe get one or two strands, but when I have this one, it seems to shed a little every time that I brush or comb it out, which um, which is unfortunate. But hey, it's still it's still a nice, it still looks good, and the hair works wonderfully. So um, basically, that's it. Um, the co washing thing for me, everything has to stay the same. Um, one another good thing pro about this hair is that when you curl it. No matter what section you curl, because sometimes you see videos where girls curl the bottom of their hair and it doesn't curl the same as the top. But with this hair, you're going to get curl, no matter where you curl it, all the curl patterns are going to be the same. This hair takes curls and heat and everything else very, 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 very well. So, um, my overall um, opinion on this about what I repurchased, what I recommended, I absolutely definitely would. Um, I do plan on um, purchasing some more hair from Hair Engineers just because. I love it. Um, I am going to actually try their Brazilian hair, and I'm going to most likely buy get some hair from Brazilian hair. Try her Brazilian hair, as well as um, I'm going to either get some Brazilian hair from Genesis or um, Yaya or the Belle hair. So if you have any ideas or recommendations for which one of those would be the best, please let me know out of those three which one you think might be the best for. Um, for me to try as my first time having Brazilian hair. Um, and another thing that I want to say a pro about this is that I love the way that the hair comes and I love the service of um, Jack, Miss Jackie. She's freaking awesome. Her customer service, she's very, 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 very good at getting back to you, contacting information and all that. So definitely, definitely, this is something if you really want to make an investment into some hair, please do. And you know what's crazy is that even though when I'm in the house, I don't leave as often as possible. When I'm outside, this hair freaking looks luxurious. And like inside, I do. You don't really see the luster. Like if you can see the luster is like a medium, but outside you absolutely see awesome, awesome, awesome freaking luster. So definitely, definitely make the investment. And I wish you guys best of luck. Check out my videos if you need some information, really, really honest information about day to day or week to week how things go and my real thought, my real thoughts and opinions on the hair. So until then, I will see you later. And if you want to know my final last update on how I feel about the hair and what style I'm rocking at the moment, stay tuned and please check out my six week update and review video final video on hairextensionairs.com. Virgin Indian Hair Weavy. Okay, so bye bye, toodles guys, and I will see you guys later. Let me just.